Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2016 Grade 9 10 Contest Question 16, which also came up in the Grade 11 12 Contest. So the question is An assembly line needs to perform three steps to build a bicycle. Step A Spray painting the bike frame, which takes one worker seven minutes per bike, and the paint dries instantly. Step B, attaching the wheels and gears, which takes one worker only four minutes per bike. Step, and step C, attaching the brakes, which takes one worker one minute for each bike. Now, assigning N workers to a step speeds it up by a factor of N. Because it is an assembly line, the time given to each step, even step C for the very last bicycle, is the maximum time that any one step requires to perform the work on one bike. Assign six workers to the three steps. Assign each worker to one step to maximize productivity of the assembly line. How long will the assembly line run to make 130 bikes from the start of step A for the first bike to the end of the time allocated for step C for the last bike? All right, now let's look at this key sentence here. Now it says, because it is an assembly line, the time given to each step, even step C for the very last bicycle, is the maximum time that any one step requires. And also, we want to find the maximum productivity of this assembly line. Well, what that means is that for the maximum time that any one step requires, we want that to be as low as possible. And now the real question is, what is the most efficient way to distribute these six workers to the three steps such that, that, such that the maximum time for any one step is again as low as possible? All right, so looking at the steps A, B, and C, we can see that if we were to have one worker for each step, well, step A takes the most time as it takes seven minutes for one worker, step B takes four minutes for one worker, and step C would take one minute for one worker. Well, naturally, we would want to distribute more workers for step A than step B, and more workers for step B than step C, since A takes the longest. All right, but now if we were to only have one worker for our step A, well, we would then have at least two workers for either step B or step C, and that would be, wouldn't really make sense because we would be distributing more workers to steps that take less time. So now let's see what would happen if we were to have two workers for step A. Well, again, we wouldn't want to have three workers for either step B or step C, as again, that would be more workers for a step that would take less time. So we would then have two, two, and two. For, so it's two for step A, B, and C. Well, the maximum amount of time for any one step that would be required would be the seven over two minutes it would take for step A. Well, that would be three and a half minutes. All right, now let's see what would happen if we were to have three workers for step A. Okay, well, then we would have three workers left to distribute, and both B and C need at least one worker. And we wouldn't apply, we wouldn't distribute two workers to C instead of B because, well, B takes longer. So we would then have three, two, and one. And for A, it would take seven over three minutes, which is a bit over two minutes. And for B, it would be 4 over 2, which is 2 minutes exactly. And for C, it would be 1 over 1, so 1 minute. So the, max, the maximum amount of time for any one step would be the 7 over 3 minutes for step A. Now, let's see what would happen if we were to have 4 workers for step A. Well, then we would only have 2 workers left to distribute. And of course, both B and C would need 1 worker each, because you can't have 0 workers at a step. Well, for A, it would be 7 over 4 minutes, which is less than 2, but for step B, we would then have only one worker, so it would be 4 divided by 1, which is 4, and already that is more than the maximum amount of time required for any step when we only had 3 workers for step A. So therefore, that is the most efficient, and we will have 3 workers for step A, and again, we will have 2 workers for step B, as that takes longer than step C, where we will only distribute one worker to. Okay, well here, then we just fill in, we would have seven over three minutes, here we would have four over two minutes, and well, one over one. 
and what these are equal to, well, this is just 7 over 3 minutes. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 1 divided by 1 is 1. So the maximum amount of time required for any one step would be for the step A, the 7 over 3 minutes. Okay, but now from our question, we know that the assembly line makes 130 bikes, and it starts with the step A for the first bike. All right, well, then to have 130 bikes, it would then take 130 times the 7 over 3, the 7 over 3 minutes for step A, and that would mean that it would take that long for 130 bytes to go through step A. Now in an assembly line, the maximum amount of time that, well, for the first bike, it will take seven over three minutes. And as soon as that time is up, that bike goes to the next step B. And then the next bike is in line. So therefore, for every single bike, it's always seven over three minutes. And for the 130th bike, then since from the question we want to see, how long will the assembly line run to make 130 bikes from the start of step A for the first bike to the end of the time allocated for step C? So we want to still add the time for step B and C for the 130th bike. So then we would still have to add 2 times the 7 over 3 as it's the 7 over 3 for step B of the 130th bike and step C for the 130th bike. So plus 2 times 7 over 3. All right, well, this is equal to, well, here we have 130 times this plus two times this. Well, that's 132 times seven over three. Okay. Well, here we can cancel because 132 is divisible by three. So if we do 132 divided by 3, we then get 44. And then we would still have times the 7. And this would be in minutes. So we would have 44 times 7, which is equal to 308 minutes. So this is the answer, 308 minutes. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewoodtests.com.